Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode we completed the Lake Kingdom. We got all eight moons that, moons that we needed to progress. And in this episode we're going to be headed to the Wooded Kingdom because in the last episode we could have gone either to the Lake Kingdom or the Wooded Kingdom and I chose the Lake Kingdom because that's just the order that, that I personally go in. And so, now in this episode, we'll be headed to the Wooded Kingdom, because both are required, you just get to decide which one you want to go to first. We can reach the Wooded Kingdom now. Maybe Bowser is there? We'll have to find out. You have to see this cutscene a lot, so... I guess I can commentate through this. I just want to start telling like childhood stories because while I d haven't gotten through a lot of life yet I feel like I've gotten to a point where I can start telling stories whether they be a couple days ago or a couple of years ago I'm sorry if it lagged right there whoever heard of a wedding with a stolen dress let's get after that tactless fiend seeing as how we've got some time to kill let's review some useful skills and then he'll just talk about the spin through you could go ahead and read it on screen if you want but I just want to talk about how also, sorry if you heard that audio. Uh, I remember when I was, like, really young, like, three years old. I don't remember if this was a dream or what, but I just remember, like, a flash moment where I'm just, like, laying in the middle of a bowling lane. Like, not just, like, in the middle of a bowling alley, but, like, in the middle of the lane. Like, not where you're supposed to step. Like, between that and the pins. And, I don't know, it's just such a surreal experience, I guess. It was so long ago. I'm pretty sure it was a dream. Because there's no way that actually, like, happened in real life. It was the first moon that we got is Road to the Sky Garden. This will be a pretty easy moon, because all we have to do is uh, defeat the big piranha plant. Cap says, wait, do you hear something? But yeah, this is kind of like a mix between nature and robots, because the whole- like, the point of Sonic, like, I know this is a Mario game, but the point of Sonic is, it's robots versus nature. And this kingdom is like, why not combine the two? I, I don't know why I'm referencing Sonic here, but we have a sphinx here who wants to give us a riddle. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the monster want from this kingdom? He wants flowers, the soiree bouquet. If you read some of the text earlier, you know you'd know that. I, I probably should have read through that. But it doesn't matter nonetheless. All we know is that he's after the soiree bouquet and we need to stop him. Iron Road entrance. This is the start of some pretty nice music. Uh I've Li re listen to this a lot because it's just such a good song. I don't know how I got through that without the Extendy Boy, I guess is the best name for him. This guy right here. He has a name, I just don't know what it is. I think if I go into the action guide, then he has a name. Uh, capture actions. Uproot. Okay. It's a pretty neat name. We have to use the up route to stretch through the different blocks and get to the end. We can also push this platform upwards, which allows us, us to reach up here, where we can escape from here. I'm saying here way too much. Now we're at the Piranha Plant boss fight we were talking about earlier. We got the Iron Road halfway point. You have to put Cappy into the Piranha Plant's mouth and jump on him. I'm having some issues with uh, Joy Pendrick. I know it sounds like I'm just making excuses, but I'm genuinely just having problems. Yahoo! You got a moon. Road to Sky Garden. Flower Thieves of Sky Garden. I think before the end of the episode, we could probably get to that boss fight. 
I have something to do in a few minutes though, so I might have to I might have to end off the video early. I don't know why I started talking like a pirate there, but that's in the past. Let's move on to the future. Speaking of future, the technology mixed with nature here just looks you could tell a lot of time and effort was put into this game. Which there's so much controversy with Nintendo making poor decisions morally. And so it's it's just tough, I guess, because I love the games. I love this. This was very well made. It's just that Nintendo as a company just I don't know if it's a hot take, but Nintendo's good at making video games. They're not good at making decisions for their company, I guess is the best way to describe it. I don't know. I'm I'm just a teenager. I don't really have the mind to say stuff like this, I guess. But it seems like we can get this Brutal's boss fight in and then we can go ahead and wrap up the video. Sky Garden Tower. It's time to see what boss fight we have in store here. Too late, chumps. We already snagged the soiree bouquet already. <laughs> now, why don't you scan scram so we can grab the rest of the flowers as well? Or maybe I'll just make you scram. So this is Spewert? Spewert? I think it's Spewert. He's a pretty easy boss fight. Just hit him with your hat. He won't have his hat anymore, so you can jump on him. He'll go into his hat. Just jump on him. It's a pretty easy fight. Hit him once more with your hat. You want to be careful of his... Yeah, toxic... Goo, I guess. Don't even need to hit him while he's in this hat form, I don't think. Or maybe he does, I just do this the quick way so I don't even remember what you're supposed to do. But yeah, I think that about wraps it up for today's episode. We got another multi-moon! Flower Thieves of Sky Garden. So yeah, with a story moon and a multi moon out of the way, this seems like a good place to end off the episode. We have another thing here, Path to the Secret Flower Field, which seems like a pretty intriguing thing. There's a weird UFO up there, so we'll have to check out what that is. People are probably gonna think that I'm just lazy because it's only eight minutes long but i have stuff to do in a couple of minutes so i can't really just i can't just keep this going on for another couple of minutes so thank you guys so much for watching in the next episode we're gonna go ahead and see what that weird ufo thing was on top of the weird mountain i guess it was whatever it was Ugh, the voice crack whatever it was we're gonna check it out and yeah i'll see you guys next time Bye-bye!